topic of this presentation is how to design a perfect solar parabolic dish. I discuss all parameters to design a perfect parabolic dish. Let us start with its definition. A solar parabolic dish is a device that uses a curved reflector to concentrate sunlight onto a receiver at the focal point of the dish. Or Paraboloidal solar dish collectors focus incident solar radiation into a small region, the cavity receiver. This region generates intense heat that can be transformed into chemical or electrical energy, which can power electronic devices. Here are those important features involved in design of a perfect dish. The focal length and rim angle of the dish the cavity radius and height, the absorption coefficient of the cavity walls, the solar irradiance and tracking system, and the heat transfer fluid and pipe work. Now I am going to explain these steps one by one. The first one is, what is focal length and rim angle? The focal length of a parabolic dish is the distance from the vertex of the dish to the focus point, where the reflected rays converge. The rim angle of a parabolic dish is the angle between the center line of the dish and a reflected ray at the rim of the dish. These two parameters affect the shape and concentration ratio of the dish. And relation between focal length and rim angle is explained by formula is 4FD equals R square. Where F is the focal length, D is the depth of the dish, and R is the radius of the dish. This means that if you increase the focal length, you have to decrease the depth or increase the radius to keep the equation balanced. This will result in a flatter dish with a smaller rim angle. Next is the cavity radius and height. The cavity radius and height are the dimensions of the receiver that is placed at the focus point of the parabolic dish. If the cavity radius is too small, some of the solar radiation may miss the receiver and be wasted. If the cavity radius is too large, some of the heat may be lost due to radiation and convection from the receiver surface. Same is for height. Absorption coefficient is a measure of how much solar radiation is absorbed by a material or a surface. It ranges from 0 to 1, where 0 means no absorption and 1 means complete absorption. Absorption coefficient depends on the material properties, surface color, surface roughness, and incident angle of the solar radiation. Absorption coefficient determines how much solar heat flux is transferred to the working fluid. Higher absorption coefficients lead to higher receiver temperatures and higher thermal efficiencies. Solar irradiance is the amount of solar energy that reaches a given area on Earth's surface. It is measured in watts per square meter and depends on factors such as the sun's position, the season, the time of day, and the weather conditions. A tracking system for solar parabolic is a technology that adjusts the position of a solar parabolic concentrator to follow the sun throughout the day and maximize the solar irradiance that it receives. Or, a solar parabolic concentrator is a type of solar collector that uses a curved mirror to reflect and concentrate the sunlight onto a receiver tube that contains a heat transfer fluid. There are different types of tracking systems for solar parabolic concentrators, such as dual-axis tracking, single-axis tracking, passive tracking, active tracking, chronological tracking, 
A heat transfer fluid for solar parabolic is a fluid that is used to transfer heat from a solar parabolic concentrator to a heat storage system or a power generation system. Here are some examples of heat transfer fluids. Synthetic oil. Water slash steam. Molten salts and. Nanofluids. Pipework is used to carry the heat transfer fluid from the receiver to the heat engine or the storage system. The pipework should be designed to minimize heat losses, pressure drops, and parasitic pumping power. Pipework can also include valves, pumps, sensors, and controllers to regulate the flow and temperature of the heat transfer fluid and ensure safe and efficient operation of the system. Pipework can be made of different materials depending on the type and temperature of the heat transfer fluid. For example, stainless steel pipes can be used for pressurized water or thermonol VP1, while ceramic or composite pipes can be used for supercritical carbon dioxide or molten salts. The silver surface will produce direct reflection, which is most suitable for creating specular light. Silver and gold surfaces will provide a more directional light giving a much harder and less diffused light. Taking the standard equation for an upward-facing parabola, y square is equals 4ax. A parabolic dish can be designed by using this formula. A diameter of a parabola is any straight line parallel to its axis i t can be defined as the locus of the midpoints of a set of parallel chords. Equation of diameter of parabola y square equals x corresponding to the chord x minus y plus 1 equals 0 is. Rim angle is defined as the ratio of the energy intercepted by the receiver to the energy reflected by the focusing device, i.e., the parabola. Or, the rim angle R is the angle between the axis and a line from the focus to the physical edge of the concentrator. Together, the focal length and rim angle of a parabolic concentrator completely define its cross-sectional geometry. The formula for a parabola is F equals X over 4A. To find the focal point of a parabola following are the steps. Step 1 is measure the longest diameter, width, of the parabola at its rim. Step 2 is divide the diameter by 2 to determine the radius x and square the result x. The focal diameter of a parabola is the distance between the focus of the parabola and the vertex. The formula for the focal diameter of a parabola depends on the standard form of the equation of the parabola. If the parabola is in the form y equals a x minus h square plus k y equals a x minus h square plus k, the focal diameter is 2a. Solar energy collector's concentration ratio is defined as the aperture area divided by the receiver divided by absorber area of the collector. Here is a simple solar electricity conversion chain of the dish system. Hope this video helps you understand design of parabolic dish. I appreciate your kind support to me. My channel is purely an educational channel and your suggestions for betterment are welcomed. I encourage you to ask for subject related topics video. Request in comment section. Never forget to subscribe my channel. Like. Share. And comment my videos.